Six music. We obviously know about the successes, but have you ever like stepped one foot too far over the sort of uh, the precipice of, of ambition and gone? Actually, that that tour didn't work when I found myself stranded in a cherry picker in Berlin, and it just all the whole show fell fell to pieces. Has that ever happened with you? Um, well, the tour I did with our, our second world tour was called Performance. It was directed and designed by two guys from the English National Opera. It, it, actually, it was it was an amazing show. It looks great on the video as well. But sometimes we all, we we followed the only time we've ever done this the theatre convention of ignoring the audience, <laughs> just like you would if you were going to see a play or something. Yeah. Um, and but the funny thing is, the audience is simply not going to react like that. They're going to react as though they're at a pop concert. <laughs> 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 and anyway, but I remember we did it in Milan and. The show ended with this very high concert moment where Chris and I sort of died. And, uh, and there was meant to be this sample of very loud orchestral music from our song called Jealousy. But as we were dying, the sample didn't work. And so there was just like a dump, 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 dump playing. And Chris and I were dying. And the song ended and there was silence. <laughs> and this is meant to be the end of the show. <laughs> so there was complete silence. And so Chris and I had to sort of crawl off the stage and then <laughs> the encore as though a, a slow hand clap developed. And so we had to interpret the slow hand clap as a demand, a curious demand for an encore. And we sort of just carried on regardless. But it was extremely embarrassing. These shows are coming up. What else is, is ticking in the back of your collective mind, or is it we want to... Oh, hold as we speak, we're yeah. working on a new album here in Berlin. Uh, and, uh, in fact, um, Chris is in the studio literally as we speak. We have we actually we, we have a studio in Berlin where we, where we can write, and that's what we're doing at the moment over here. And we've just been working on some new songs. I don't know when it's going to come out. If I was to come and knock on the door or ring the doorbell of the studio and, and the door would open, what, what would I find? What's the at environment the moment, like? you would find Chris trying to put a sample of a German U-Bahn train on the track. What's an U-Bahn train? <laughs> uh, an underground train, sorry. Ah. Train. Yeah, for this song we're doing. Um, it's unusual for us actually to do something with a local sort of relevance. In fact, we have done a song that refers to um, getting, the, as they call it here, the U-Bahn, the underground train. And, um, but for some reason, there's a problem in the studio, and he can't get he's got, and he's been on the phone all the mo all morning, so I'll keep just up on about it. So I just slipped away to do this interview. Good city to be working in Berlin as well, you know? It is. It's really good. Uh, it's quite good to get. There's, there are different distractions, but probably less distractions than being in London. Are you, are you, is there still, because when we spoke last about your material, and that there's a, a, a slight political preoccupation, or, cer or certainly interpreting the things that have been going on in the certainly eventful world as we speak in current well, affairs. There'll be a bit of that on the new album. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think so, anyway. I think so. I mean, we live in such um, sort of eventful times that it's, yeah, you, you can't really just ignore it. But as ever, we don't, we don't normally do it through sort of sloganeering songs, but um, some issues will, um, will probably find their way into that. Six. Six music.